10 High School Basketball Gyms to See Before You Die There's something magical about high school basketball and their basketball gyms. The bright lights and school tones, the orange accents of the rim and ball and the rich browns of the hardwood give them a unique color contrast all their own. How the stands are constructed, multi-decked, round or square, end zones or concrete walls, makes gyms unique. All present a theater setting that is magnificent viewing from virtually every angle. We set out to feature 10 of the most unique venues in the country, both historic and contemporary. Marts Hall, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Home of the Pottsville Crimson Tide. Opened in 1970 and has a seating capacity of 4,100. Called the heaven of hardwood, the original wooden upper deck bleachers remain and are a fan favorite. Also known by locals as the Mecca, Kobe Bryant, Billy Owens and Sam Bowie played games there. Raider Arena. Cleveland, Tennessee. Home of the Cleveland Raiders. Opened in 2016 and a seating capacity 2,700. The state-of-the-art, $11 million arena, with an NBA-style floating floor, replaced the 50-year-old Raider Dome that was deemed structurally unsound. Hatchet House, Washington, Indiana. Home of the Washington Hatchets. Opened in 1967 with a seating capacity of 7,090. Originally built in 1925, it was replaced in 1966 with the arena that stands today. An excerpt from StadiumJourney.com The nanosecond you walk into the building you feel the aura of various championship teams. The echoing of the crowds, and the smell of the thick wooden bleachers mixed in with the odor of old popcorn, flat soda, and stale hot dog buns. The Hatchet House is as advertised, a perfect example of a Hoosier temple. John Q. Hammond Arena, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Home of the Union Redskins. Opened in 2003 with a seating capacity of 5,662. A giant video screen is at the center of the $22 million facility, that also hosted the Summit League men's basketball tournament from 2005 to 2008. Wildcat Den, Chinle, Arizona. Home of the Chinle Wildcats. Opened in 2006 with a seating capacity of 7,500. Featured prominently in the Netflix series Basketball or Nothing, the $23 million facility was built on the Navajo Reservation and is reportedly the 14th largest high school gymnasium in the country. Sandra Meadows Memorial Arena, Duncanville, Texas. Home of the Duncanville Panthers and Pantherettes. Opened in 2003 with a capacity of 2,000. Named after the late Meadows, a 25-year coach for the Pantherettes, 743-120 record, and a 2002 Women's Basketball Hall of Fame inductee. School colors red and blue dominate the gym. Hinsdale Central Main Gym, Hinsdale, Illinois. Home of the Hinsdale Central Red Devils. The gym opened in 1952 with a seating capacity of 4,200. The bright red looping red ribbons that hang from the ceiling give immediate energy as do the many bright red features. More than 120 championship banners dating back from 1909 gives Hinsdale Central Gym a definite classic feel as well. Fighting Scouts Event Center, Fort Defiance, Arizona. Home of the Window Rock Fighting Scouts. Opened in 2004 and has a seating capacity 6,500. Also built in Navajo Nation, Window Rock is Chinley's number one rival and many believe they tried to top Wildcat Den with a three-level arena divided between a 4,000-seat main level, 2,500-seat upper level and 40-seat hospitality suit. Newcastle Fieldhouse, Newcastle, Indiana Home of the Newcastle Trojans. The Fieldhouse opened in 1959 and has a seating capacity 7,829. Once considered the largest gym in the country when it seated 9,325, the field house was once stabbed the cracker box when it sat just 1,800 back in the 1920s before being rebuilt in 1959 at the cost of $875,000. Reed Condor Gymnasium, Benton, Kentucky Home of the Marshall County Marshals, the gym opened in 1979 and seats 6,000. Named after a former school superintendent, the late Reed Condor, this is the considered the Taj Mahal of venues in the basketball-rich bluegrass state. It hosts the Marshall County Hoopfest, which has featured such NBA stars as Carmelo Anthony and Derek Rose and programs from more than 20 states. Please comment on your favorite gym, or if you've ever watched a game at one of the listed venues. 
Thank you for watching and please like, subscribe and share.